All right, everybody, welcome to standard form of a linear equation. So we've talked about slope-intercept, uh, point-slope form. Now we're going to be talking about standard form. Standard form um, looks like this, uh, ax plus by equals c. There are some restrictions we have or, or some things we have to note, uh, mainly that a, b, and c, okay, and c are real numbers. So they're elements of the real number system. That's number one, okay? Number two, A and B do not equal zero. And we wanna make a special note of this, not at the same time. So one of them can be zero, but both cannot be zero at the same time, okay? So it's okay for A or B to be zero, just not at the same time. We also know that c is going to be our constant, okay? So there's no variable attached to that c value. It's just a constant, okay? Um, and one thing we're going to use in our next video, um, we graph most of these standard form equations uh, using x and y intercepts, and we'll talk about that in the next video. So you can graph using the x and y intercepts. So that's important, okay? So that's standard form. And what we're going to do is write equations in standard form and convert some equations to standard form. So let's look at our first example. In our first example, we're going to take, it looks like here, a slope-intercept form. So we're going to write y equals 2 fifths x minus 3 in standard form. Okay, so we look at that with integer coefficients, so we don't want this fraction. So I'm going to rewrite the equation, y equals 2 fifths x minus 3. Well, in order to get rid of that fraction, i got to get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. And so this is going to make sure I get integers as my coefficient. So we know that 5 times y is just 5y, okay? And then 2 fifths x times 5 is just 2x, and that's minus, uh, minus 3 and 5. You take that together, that's 15, so it's minus 15. And notice in standard form that a and uh, the x and y term are on the same side, so if I can just subtract 2x from both sides, I'll go ahead and do that. And then I have negative 2x, plus 5y equals negative 15. So that is my standard form equation. So what this is really telling you is that, hey, any slope-intercept form can be also written in standard form. So that's our answer. And we all have integer coefficients. Notice negative 2, 5, and negative 15 are all integers. So in our next example, we're going to do the same thing. I just wanted to give you another example. This is not quite in slope-intercept form, but we want to write this in standard form with integer coefficients. So I'm going to have 1 half y, I'll go ahead and rewrite what I have, equals negative 5x plus 11. So now I have this fraction, but I have it 2 in the denominator, so everything gets multiplied by 2 put parentheses around this whole thing, so we're going to use the distributive property on the right side. Uh, 2 times 1 half, that's just 1, so you get y equals negative 10x plus 22. So now all of a sudden, by multiplying by 2, here's slope-intercept form, but we want standard form, so we got to go one extra step. So I'm going to just add the 10x to both sides. So I add 10x. You can't combine 10x and y. They're not like terms, so I get 10x plus y equals 22, and so that is standard form of this line, 1 half y equals negative 5x plus 11, and notice how you can go from standard form, or uh, excuse me, slope intercept form to standard form. Okay, now um, in the next example, we're going to write the standard form of an equation of a line passing through negative 4, 3, and with a slope of negative 2. So this is a little bit different. I would use point slope to start with. So the first two examples, we, we actually went from slope-intercept to standard form, and now we're going to show you that you can go from point-slope okay, to standard form. So here's my x1, here's my y1, and here's my m. So I'll just go ahead and write that equation. Point-slope is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. So I go ahead and substitute. We have y minus 3 equals my slope of negative 2 times x minus x1, but my x1 is negative, so this becomes plus 4. So be careful. And now we start to distribute. So we have y minus 3 
equals negative 2x minus 8. Remember, standard form, x and y are both on the same side, so I'll go ahead and add 2x to both sides. And I'll do that now, and so then I have 2x plus y minus 3 equals negative 8. So if I go ahead and add 3 to both sides, I'll complete the process here, and I'll write it up here. So I have 2x plus y, and then negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So there is my standard form. So now this is saying, hey, look, you can go from point slope into standard form as well. Now what happens if we have... Um, Oops, it looks like we have a repeat slide. What? There we go. What happens if we have um, a, a or B that's a negative value? So in this last example, and that should be standard form, we have a vertical and a horizontal line that they want us to write in standard form. So A is the vertical line. Well, remember, this has an undefined slope. There's no, it's not no, I guess no slope, but a lot of people when they say no slope, they say, oh, it's zero. This is undefined slope. Vertical lines have the equation of x equals c, some constant. Horizontal lines have the equation of y equals some constant. Well, let's look at our vertical line. Notice how our line goes through. Our, all of our x values are always 3, and y can be any value. So this vertical line is x equals negative 3. That's the equation of a vertical line. Notice that the b value would be 0 here. There's no b value. The horizontal line now is y equals, there's no slope here, so m equals 0. It's 0 slope, so whatever's multiplied to the x term would be 0. Notice how we go through a y value of 3, so this equation is y equals 3. So that's how we write equations of horizontal and vertical lines when either a or b is 0. So let's look at our... Um, Roundup our summary here of all these equations. So slope intercept form we've talked about y equals mx plus b. We've also talked about point slope form y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. Here is our vertical and um, horizontal lines. Okay, a and b are constants and there's standard form and we've already talked about kind of the restrictions or things that have to happen in standard form. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll put my email address below and we'll see you next time.